all right guys uh, welcome back uh, in this video I'm gonna go through how to set up um, postman to make uh, Azure REST API call um, to start off with uh, we're gonna need some few things in your um, Azure portal um, from the Azure Active Directory uh, so in this case I'm gonna go from um, scratch uh, all what you need to, to create so the first thing I'm gonna do is go into my Azure Active Directory and then go to properties And I'm going to get my tenant ID. Uh, the next, I'm going to go into app registration. Into app registration, I'm going to go ahead and create a new application. I'm going to call this application uh, Postman demo then I'm gonna give it a URL uh, it could be anything so let's just say uh, HTTPS colon slash slash postman All right. and I'm gonna leave it as a web app API and I'm gonna hit create Once that's created, I'll get the application ID from it. And then I'll go into the settings and I'll create a secret. On the keys. This could be anything, I'll say postman auth. Duration, I'll give it a year. And then I'll save. Then once you generate the key, I will take this out. Okay, and once I have that, uh, the last thing I want to do uh, inside of my Azure environment is to make sure that this um, this application has access to the subscription I am going to be managing. So I can then close, uh, go down to here. I'll go into subscriptions. Select the subscription that I'm dealing with. Then I'll go into the access control. And I can give uh, that application permission to my subscription. You can give it different role. I'm going to give it owner because I want to also, um, I'm not just doing um, read calls. I'm also doing some uh, uh, put calls. So I'm going to give it owner and I'll say postman demo. Now save that. Uh, once that is done, that is all you actually need for Azure. Uh, you can then uh, minimize Azure. Uh, <clears throat> just to save time, I've installed and brought up Postman. As you can see, uh, this is not linked to anything. Um, uh, what I also uh, did, actually, uh, the reason why I'm doing this recording is to uh, showcase um, this uh, templates that I have in GitHub. So. Um, what, what I what I'm gonna do uh, since I've already gotten the, all this information I need. Uh, actually, I didn't get the subscription ID, so let me jump back here and just pull that up. Uh, 
Okay, uh, now I'm going to actually just configure the Postman application. Now, uh, the, the, con the configuration can be confusing, so uh, that's why I created this GitHub repository um, with two uh, templates, JSON templates, uh, that you can actually just install directly from. Um, if you go to the raw file, uh, you copy this out. And let's go back to the other file. Okay, so now that I have the raw con uh, file for those two uh, files in the repository, I can go ahead and configure my Postman now. All right, so back into Postman. Um, the first thing I'm going to do uh, up here is I'm going to import. Uh, this import is for a collection. As you can see, there's none in here. So I'll do import. I'll say import from a link. Then I'll take the link for the collection that we copied over uh, this here, the raw link. And I'll paste it into Postman. That will set up my collection. Next, before I can use anything here, I want to also import an environment. As you can see, there's no environment here. So I'll go into Manage Environment. I'll go to Import. Then I'll say Choose a File. Uh, then I'm going to copy the same link for the raw. Oops. I'm going to paste it in there. So open. That will now give me an environment. <clears throat> now while I'm in here, uh, this is the Azure environment. This is where I want to put the information. Uh, everything's already preset. So if I go into Azure here, uh, this is what it needs. And this is what I got from uh, my Azure environment. So I'm just going to open that up and then just copy that into this here. First thing is my tenant ID. You can always just paste it in current value. I just like to do it in both. That's it, my secret. This subscription is optional, but I needed to do some of my demos. Uh, so I'm just going to put it in there, right? Okay. Once I have all those four values in there, I can just hit an update. And then close, and I'm done. My postman is now ready to use. Uh, the first thing you want to do whenever you want to use the postman is because uh, you need to get token because the token does expire. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the token section here. And I'm going to get a token. Okay, it failed. <laughs> uh, and it failed because of uh, I did not set an environment. Ah. So I need to come and set environment Azure. Oh, come on. Okay. And uh, make sure that the tenant ID is giving me something. Perfect. And then I'll run it again. The send again. Uh, that should go in and get you a token. Now, once you have a token, uh, that token will be saved for that, uh, uh, <clears throat> for that environment. So then I can then go do things like um, get subscription. Since I already have my subscription um, tag here, I can just say send. That should get me information of my subscription. Uh, for this demo, I also have a uh, 
something that I work with this a lot, uh, VM, uh, VM skill sets. I can say a thing like, uh, give a name of the VM skill set. And that's the same. My resource group and the VM skill set are the same. And if I hit uh, send here, um, that will get information about my VM skill set. All right. And uh, yeah, simple as that. Everything's set up in 10 minutes. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, uh, please uh, let me know.